Being the church means suffering for Jesus at times. In a world of fast food, live communication, instant messaging, and immediate gratification, it can kind of be hard to think about future blessing. Our world today is often unwilling to wait for anything, much less a revelation of divine glory. And until then, well, we might have to suffer. Romans 8.15 You've not received, so you've not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. Our spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we're God's children. And since we're his children, we're his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we're heirs of God's glory. But if we're to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Suffering, of course, is different things to different people. Just dying is suffering. But so is whatever's happening to the church in China and parts of the Middle East. When you're the church, you have to be part of the suffering while waiting for the glorious day when Jesus returns. I can't wait for that to happen. Our theme verse for being the church is Acts 2.42, which says this. They continue in the apostles' teaching, in the fellowship, in the sharing of meals, including the Lord's Supper, and in prayer. Being the church means you do things together. Sometimes that's suffering. Sometimes that is not exactly the most fun thing. Sometimes it means some kid vomited in threes and fours, and you have to clean it up. Sometimes it means that you have to make a decision that's hard about a friend. Sometimes you have to struggle over what's next. There's some suffering going on. Sometimes if you're in China or you're in Saudi Arabia or something like that, you have to be afraid for your life to follow Jesus. All those things our being the church. Father, thank you for allowing me to be part of your church, for adopting me in as your child. Thank you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, guys, coming up on the weekend, and I hope you guys have a great one. Uh, we'll be talking um, this weekend about our new series, which I'm calling The One. So sometimes you just need just one. And we, we're, we've been talking about being the church for a few weeks now, or a couple of weeks now. we got one more week of that. But we're also going to be talking about what happens if there's just the one. Sometimes God uses the one. We'll be talking about that starting tomorrow and for the next few weekends on Day of Devotion. Those are only on TikTok and, uh, and Facebook Reels. So I hope you'll check it out. And um, if you don't want to do that, that's okay. We'll be right back here Monday morning with being the church. We'll talk to you then. God bless you. Have a great weekend. See you then. Bye.